Saturday afternoon, October 27, 2018. I'm still recovering from the uh, news of the latest uh, mass shooting terrorism attack. This one targeted uh, Jewish Americans. Could have been any number of people I know. And then the, the president's uh, sickening response regarding gun laws. Gun laws is the problem. All this kind of an endless litany of mass shootings, which are all terrorism attacks. Anyway, back to work here. I added a bit of color, decided to make her hair into a bit of a bouquet. And I'm looking at this. Uh, I had a flashback to uh, 1976 when I was an undergrad. An art professor who shall remain unnamed uh, at uh, SIU Carbondale uh, critically told me that uh, my work was like as if I was an illustrator. It was interesting because there was no, he's in these six. <clears throat> Eight years later, I was in Poland for the summer, and I had a really enriching experience in a whole number of levels. Among them was learning that uh, during the re repressive years of, of the communist regimes, that artists, visual artists, uh, in like 2D, for example, two-dimensional art making, frequently uh, survived by doing what is in the United States considered commercial art, as in like illustration. In the United States, at least in art schools at the time, art departments and colleges and universities, the, the, the chasm between like fine art and commercial art was like at least as wide as the uh, like Grand Canyon. And uh, it was interesting just hearing about artists there who you know, would do their own art and then to uh, survive they would do things like book cover art movie poster uh, illustration and so on. There was no dichotomy. It just all melded together. Anyway, I think I look at this and I see, huh, here's the the uh, illustrator in me that uh, someone uh, critically uh, addressed uh, 42 years ago, was it? Yep. Or 44, something like that. 76, 86, 86, 42 years ago. Anyway, I, I'm glad to see when it uh, when it uh, manifests itself now and then. Okay, on to the uh, next phase, which is going to be drawing this painstakingly, all the sections and all the, the string and line pencil outlining the sections. Then I will uh, do color mainly the uh actually this is interesting because this gold i put here matches this so that's good um yeah, color of the uh like clay pot pots here and the red and so on and then uh then i will do a kind of fine line ink drawing over that we'll see how it turns out all right to be continued this is part two